Bruh. Hey guys, I'm back for some more Art of War 3. Uh, and today we're going to be playing a PvP on the Veracruz map. Uh, Veracruz is actually one of my favorite maps uh, because it's just so uh, strategically uh, useful for various tactics. Uh, and I just like it. So, yeah, here we go. Uh, start off good with some strong scouting. Okay. Okay, getting those containers in the middle. And. Okay. So far, we don't see any opposition yet. Okay, container there. Come on. Oh, container here. Oh, wow. He's not, he's not big on scouting. I can tell that. Okay, rifleman. Uh, okay, so. He's got a couple assaults already. But he, he's not moving these assaults. He's just training assaults and putting them right here. Uh, and upgrading to uh, level 2 HQ, but he does not have a third supply center, and he went for an assault vehicle factory, so I suspect a rush. Now, typically, uh, a normal confederation player at this rank and at this time would have three supply centers, and we don't see that. Instead, we see an assault vehicle factory and two barracks, but they're at the back of the map. So, there's a possible rush. Okay, meanwhile, I am getting that sniper tower up right there to deny some scouting and getting my infrastructure up to max. Okay, upgrading that HQ. And I have a one coyote right there to, uh, if, because if he sends a fortress to scout, which many confederation players do with an early assault vehicle factory, uh, they usually send one fortress out. One sniper tower cannot kill a fortress. Uh, it's, the, it's that simple. So yeah, I just got an extra little bit of firepower and that's why I got a POD. Since I did see he uh, got that early assault vehicle factory, it's worthwhile to get some extra, uh, extra firepower. Meanwhile, I am building defensive structures. Uh, gun towers, sniper towers, you name it. Uh, mainly because defensive structures will hard counter his rush and so he will not be able to rush uh, and basically he's just gonna die yeah okay so I am basically doing good five supply centers uh, a wall of defenses um, and since he is confederation I have no worry about any infantry getting into this ginormous forest uh, anyways my gun towers basically will occupy both of these paths to make storming the map by ground hard, uh, especially for weaker tiered of units. Um, and if I was the confederation, of course, uh, bunkers will be in the front and rock towers in the back. Uh, and to be honest, that combo is actually better than the resistance gun towers in the front and the sniper towers in the back. Since gun towers do way more damage than sniper towers, even against infantry, uh, due to the burst damage. Uh, so yeah, I mean, if you put your gun tower at the front, then it's going to get engaged first. So, yeah, the rocket tower at the back, shielded by the bunker, is better. The resistance has no shielded buildings or anything, so we have to rely solely on firepower instead of armor. So I think that's mainly the reason why Confederation defenses feel so strong. It's because... Bunkers give that extra protection to rocket towers in order for the rocket towers to dish out as much damage as possible uh, And yeah, I think that's basically it. Okay, so we scouted some good scouting with this one Kaiman We went all the way here and then back up again And Yeah, I got some scouts across the forest in order to engage any uh, Sort of rush that may come putting up anti-air towers to avoid cyclones from destroying my gun towers, since sniper towers are pretty trash against cyclones. Okay, and yeah, as I suspected, rush. Okay, how many shots will it take? Okay. Oh wow, that's a very yellow shot. Damn. That looks perfect. Look at that. Okay, so how many does he have? Like three fortresses, 20-ish heavy salts, and one hammer. Uh, I think that's gonna be, I mean, I can definitely counter it if he attacks straight on. Two gun towers, two sniper towers, 
And if if he comes this way, two gun towers and one sniper tower. Of course, with a gold common defense boost, I can increase the range so the sniper tower will engage here, and then this sniper tower may engage there, and so on and so forth. Okay, so he has a pretty pretty decent army, but at, uh, keep in mind that it's like six minutes into it already, so. Yeah, you're gonna need a much stronger army to destroy my defenses, especially since I scouted you already, and a scout can basically uh, tell your opponent exactly what you're up to. Meanwhile, replacing that one coyote, and uh, doing contracts. So my contract was uh, produce three barracudas and produce uh, six uh, dragonflies. Uh, and since dragonflies are actually pretty good, uh, to defend with. I mean, that's pretty good. That's like a win-win. Do contracts and defend. Meanwhile, I have a uh, Kaiman engaging Blue's base right here to dish out damage uh, as often as possible. Okay, and yeah, looks like he's coming in with his troops. And let's see. Let's see if I can outrange these. Uh... Okay. 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 Nice. Can we kill him? And uh, nice, uh, yeah. YouTube algorithm is literally gonna <laughs> uh, make my video trash because I said the word kill. Uh, please don't do that, YouTube algorithm. I pick you, please. <laughs> okay. Anyways, uh, that aside, we're actually dealing good damage to these heavy assaults with this Kaiman. Uh, keep in mind, one Kaiman costs 80 resources and each heavy assault is 45 resources so i basically killed two heavy assaults and that's a third so i mean that's 135 resources minus 80 is 55 resources i basically just got a 55 resource advantage and keep in mind this guy barely has any supply centers so each resource he has is much more valuable for his time meanwhile i have a lot of supply centers uh, even though it's not the typical 7, it's still pretty good, uh, especially since this guy is rushing, I doubt he's actually going to be uh, uh, taken up that quickly. Okay, so at this point, doing contracts with some good defenses up, uh, still producing units, okay, come on. Okay, nice, so he got a Barracuda out and is engaging this air defense with a naval strike. Uh, oh, we can see heavy assaults are coming. Is he going to do it? I mean, this is not a rush at this point. It's past 10 minutes. Uh, okay, but he looks like he's going for an all-in. Nice, nice. Gun towers are engaging, and, Snaya and these dragonflies are coming in to uh, act as a shield. Sending out this one coyote to tank the damage of the enemy units, uh, for a little bit. So these heavy assaults will be attacking my dragonflies instead of my gun tower, so my gun tower can effectively destroy the armored units. Uh, meanwhile, the sniper towers are slowly shredding those heavy assaults, uh, slowly but surely. Of course, sniper towers don't dish up great damage, but they do, do uh, they do dish out damage over time, which is very useful. Uh, okay, so that attack was pretty pathetic. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. That, that was pretty pathetic uh, That was such a weak attack. He barely destroyed anything Sending my dragonflies. Let's see what we can do. Okay. He's got heavy assaults. Oh, and there's an air defense We got to fall back. Yeah, there's no uh, no attacking him right now hmm. And it looks like he has destroyed my barracuda uh, but no problem. I got two other barracudas from my other um, from the other Two out of the three barracudas I had to produce for my contracts And they're gonna come and I hopefully I can take down this air defense so I can move over here with my dragonflies uh, To redirect them there You know, that's gonna be my plan and let's go. Let's fast forward At this point, I think he quit oh, Wait, no, he did not quit. Okay. Let's see it. Come on, Barracudas, you can do this. Come on. Come on, any moment. There we go. Beautiful. Nice. Okay, keep in mind my Barracudas are literally stuck. 
uh, they barely have any upgrades. I may actually try to upgrade them for the sole purpose of their uh, missile salvo, uh, since their range is pretty pathetic. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna have to do some upgrades later. But dang, looks like his buildings are weak. Uh, as I said earlier in the, uh, I mean literally a few seconds ago, as I said a few seconds ago, my barracudas are stuck, but they're dealing good damage, so yeah. Okay, Dragonfly is here, out of position Dragonfly solely by himself, uh, doesn't follow orders well. Okay, Barracuda, okay nice, nice, surfacing on its own just to kill that heavy assault. But bruh, why are you standing still? <laughs> what? What? I thought heavy assaults would attack uh, those troops automatically when it's getting fired on. But okay, okay. And gone. Damn, look at that poor boy. <laughs> look at that poor guy. Okay, Dragonfly is coming. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. There we go. Nice. Dragonflies are pretty good attack helicopters in small groups, uh, since they can do reconnaissance, um, they're versatile in attack situations, they're pretty useful. So, dragonflies are not to be underestimated, and look at that. Come on, there we go. Two heavy assaults remaining, come on, come on. One more heavy assault, and there we go. Okay. So at this point, this guy gave up, and it's good game. Okay, come on, let's get the cinematic view for a sec, and there we go, that's nice. Now we can fast forward to victory. Okay, so anyways, this guy, I mean, I don't think he was a... A booster or a or a strong pay-to-win player, but he played well. He played well. 